Riset title, Epidermal Growth Factor Receptor Immunoreactivity in Cervical Squamous Cell Carcinoma and Adenocarcinoma and Its Correlation with Tumor Characteristic. Research background, Cervical cancer is the second most common cancer in women and occupies 15% of all cancer in women. About 80% of cases occur in developing country, and more than 80% are diagnosed at an advanced stage. Cervical cancer is also a major cause of morbidity and 80% of death in women. The most common type of cervical cancer are squamous cell carcinoma and adenocarcinoma. Epidermal growth factor receptor or EGFR is a member of the ERB family of receptor tyrosine kinase which play a role in cell differentiation, motility, infusion, and metastasis. Research objective to prove the difference in EGFR immunoreactivity in squamous cell carcinoma and adenocarcinoma of the uterine cervix and to prove the association between EGFR immunoreactivity and the degree of tumor differentiation. Research method. The research design is a cross-sectional analytical observational study with a total sample of 40 taken from biopsy or surgery specimen from patient with squamous cell carcinoma and cervical adenocarcinoma whose tissue were examined at the anatomical pathology laboratory Universitas Udayana, Sanglah General Hospital dan Pasar. Histopathological diagnosis, determination of the type of malignancy and the degree of differentiation were performed with hematoxylin and eosin staining. EGFR expression was evaluated by immunohistochemical staining. The result of the study were tested by chi-square tests with a significant level of P less than 0.05. Result, the edge ring of squamous cell carcinoma is between 33 to 61 years, while for adenocarcinoma is between 28 to 75 years. The highest distribution was found in the 51 to 60 years age group, as many as 13 or 32.5% sample, with a mean age of 48.2 plus minus 10.47 based on the grade of differentiation low grade was obtained in 5 or 25 percent sample for squamous cell carcinoma and 80 or 40 percent sample for adenocarcinoma high grade was obtained in 15 or 75 percent sample for squamous cell carcinoma and 12 or 60 percent sample for adenocarcinoma Low EGFR expression was found in 7 or 35% sample of squamous cell carcinoma and 15 or 55% adenocarcinoma sample. High EGFR expression was found in 13 or 65% sample of squamous cell carcinoma and 5 or 25% of adenocarcinoma sample. There was a significant difference in EGFR expression between squamous cell carcinoma and adenocarcinoma with P equal to 0.026. Squamous cell carcinoma has a risk of prevalence of high EGFR expression of 2.5 times compared to adenocarcinoma. Low EGFR expression was found in 4 or 80% sample of low grade squamous cell carcinoma and high EGFR expression in 12 or 80% sample of high grade squamous cell carcinoma. There was a significant difference in EGFR expression between low 
and high grade squamous cell carcinoma with p equal to 0 0.015 there was a low egfr expression in eight or 100 percent sample of low grade adenocarcinoma and high egfr expression in five or 41.7 percent sample of high grade adenocarcinoma there was no significant difference in each